Before the pioneers arrived in Wisconsin, the Rock River was home for the Ho-Junk Indians and other tribes. They called it the River of Big Stones. Evidence of these Indians can be seen in the Logan Museum of Anthropology at Beloit College and in the campus effigy mounds. And at the Library of Congress, you can actually see Indians dancing 115 years ago. They were from Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. It was the American Indian's first appearance before a motion picture camera. After 1836, the Indians were disappearing from the Rock River, but eventually starred in more and more movies. And beginning in 1947, early TV sets in Rock County homes showed a magnificent Indian on a test pattern that TV stations broadcast signing on and off the air. Recently, I asked a retired TV repairman what the Indian was used to test for. He said clarity of depth. Somehow this seems a fitting tribute to an ancient but long-lasting culture who lived along the Rock River before us.